All right, Nick Refam. Oh my God. And with a little idea to a Oh, we're steaming hot box. To get into the hot tub. Stop. Iris Hansen requested that we get her some bubble tea. And so that's what we're going to do. So she specifically requested a strawberry mango slush. I don't know if that's really a flavor. We're going to check. We're on Uber Eats. Oh, we are going to find her. I think it's in the slushies. What she asked for? Strawberry mango bubble tea with pearls. <laughs> <laughs> so she was right. It's actually a popular item. It's right here. So she was right, so she's gonna get it. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do for them because Eris requested for bubble tea. Yeah, and they also just announced that they're moving closer to us, so this is our little treat, I guess, for them. This is our, uh, um, consider this our, what's the? Celebratory? No, no, um. Gift? Consider this our housewarming gift. Um. Mostly Eris's housewarming gift. Yeah, this is Eris's part of the housewarming gift. And partly um, some of Adrian's too, so. <laughs> hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, hope you guys like it. But uh, yeah, so that's what's cooking. Literally cooking. Some time to kill. Rhea wants to go to this um, Asian market that just opened up. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're not I'm not supposed to show that. The but house. You can see it. No, because it's it's gonna be waited for uh, the house tour. All right, so we're gonna go and um, check out this market, and we're gonna bring you guys along. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys when we're leaving and when we're in the car. Uh. We're back in our parking garage, trying to figure out what car to take. We own all of these cars. For the most part though, we just like taking two of the same cars every time to save gas. Ooh. The lighting's gonna get grainy. All right, well, we'll see you guys when we're close to the Shun Given store. That's what it's called, the Shun Given store. All right guys, so we have arrived. It's called Sun Given Foods. Don't be fooled, grand opening has been happening for a whole entire month now. <laughs> It's not the grand opening. It's been open for a while. But apparently this store is supposed to be pretty cool. Lots of cool uh, Asian snacks and stuff. So, Do you guys want to come in? Here's the theme buns, people. They don't have the mini ones that you deep fry. Okay. Well, this is gonna be awkward when uh, they take have to take down all these grand opening signs. Cause it's not gonna be grand opening for a long time. Also, the battery's gonna die. So today we are going to be trying to make birria tacos. Um, I've been seeing them a lot on YouTube, on Instagram, just like everywhere. And they're basically like 
these little tacos that have cheese and barbacoa meat which is like shredded beef and then you dip it into this cons consomme sauce I don't know if I'm saying any of this right but that's just how I read it so yeah I made barbacoa meat yesterday so we're just reheating it and tendering it up again it was super tender and juicy yesterday so Nick put it back in the oven just to reheat it and kind of cook it a little bit more and then we are going to assemble the tacos and put it all together. Hopefully this goes well. It's our first time trying it, so you guys are gonna see how it turns out. So while that heats up, we're just gonna watch some basketball. Well, Nick is, I'm just gonna sit there, but yeah. Catch you in a bit. Okay guys, so we already prepped all of our meat. We shredded it up a little bit more and then we made our consomme sauce. So that's why there's not that much dip left. Have some shredded cheese and Havarti that we're gonna put in and our tortillas. Corn or flour tortillas and you wanna dip it into your, I guess, meat drippings. Oh my gosh, how do you do this? We don't have that much left because we already... What? Used a bit of it. I think it's supposed to be more red, but get it and then you, oh my God. You let it crisp up on like a flat little griddle thing. So let that crisp. So I'm gonna put some Havarti on and some cheddar. And I wanna make it like super cheesy. Then get some of your barbacoa meat and spread it oh no it's burning can you pass me um a flipper or something The birria tacos are done. They look awesome, super gooey, and super yummy. So um, this is our consomme sauce. So it's basically just the meat drippings with cilantro and fresh onion. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get your taco. So I have this portion right here. Oh my gosh, it's dripping, it's so juicy. And then you dip it in the sauce. Okay, and then wait. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is fire, guys. I hope these taste as authentic as I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. Super yummy. And the meat is so tender. I'll leave the recipe below for you guys so you can try it out. Honestly, this is so worth it, especially because here in Canada, we don't have birria food trucks. I think we probably only have two or three in the lower mainland, but it's so hard to track down. Yo, new mic check. New mic check. Also, check out this new mirror that we got. It's huge, very huge. Got it from uh, Akia, and this is what it looks like. But this is all you're gonna get. I'm not gonna show you the rest of the house because we go see that for another video. Just wanted to make a quick little uh, segment in the video 
to uh, show you guys that we got one of our <laughs> furniture pieces that we we're waiting for. And it's from this company, Tube, all the way in Canada. And uh, if you can't tell by the diagram here, they're bar stools for this here empty bar. So messy. Yeah, it's messy, but it's not usually like this. But anyways, I'm gonna open it up for you guys to see. Yeah. This is uh, our first unboxing. So it comes with off-white bags, which means we're gonna have to put some stuff together. Anyways, this is all pretty packed up pretty well, so I'm gonna work on unpacking them, and then I'm just gonna throw in a little montage of me putting together the stools, and then, uh, uh, yeah, that's it. She in like 25 minutes. I just want to disclose something for people who are watching and are asking why I'm doing it upside down and not bringing it in from the top is because let me show you it's curved so if I were to put it down it would be wobbly wobbly like wobble wobble look wobble look wobble so yeah just a little disclosure so none of you people are hating in the down there in the comments down there in the basement Alright guys, so these are the bar stools. Here's what they look like. Nice and sleek, but real chunky looking. They're very comfy. They're from Shrug Tube, all the way in Canada. I forget. Oh. They were, how much did they cost? They cost $130 each. Actually, no, sorry. They cost $130 Canadian. So it was like $100 USD for us. And uh, yeah, this is what they look like. Um, they're gonna go right there up against the empty bar because these are bar stools. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this little segment of, uh, you know, Nick the Builder. Builder of all things that have to do with a house. Like I said, um, there's still a lot going on in our house. We're still waiting on a actual dining room table. That right there is um, one of those camping tables that you get from hardware store. Those are patio chairs. So, yeah. Hi. What's up, Nick Reef fam? <laughs> Today is Sunday, and um, we're actually going out to meet a couple of friends for a COVID friendly dim sum date. And uh, this is our second month in a row. We try, we're trying to do it every every month at least once to see each other make the effort to and uh, yeah it's 11:52, so we still got eight minutes eight well we only have eight minutes to get there <laughs> but um, we still got a big portion of the day to vlog and do whatever so we will definitely keep you guys updated we'll see you guys when we get there because I got a race on over Hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> 
So this is my godson Kai. For those of you who don't know, these are our other YouTube friends, Jaden and Caitlin. And that's Chris. Yo, YouTube coming soon. Yeah. YouTube coming soon. <laughs> Only fans also coming soon. <laughs> Only fans. This is their beautiful baby boy, Kai. <laughs> Hey guys, so we are just leaving Superstore now. Um, we had an awesome lunch with our friends as you guys saw. Kai is amazing. He's so big and so cute. Um, he is too big. <laughs> yeah, he's the best. But yeah, we didn't want to record too much because we wanted to make sure that we were spending quality time, catching up, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, we just picked up a bunch of groceries for the week um, as well as some cake jars which I've been wanting to try for a while and yeah my camera is about to die so I'll catch you guys when we get home and we'll do a quick taste test for you guys as well on those cake jars so see you soon okay guys so we're gonna quickly do a just cakes cake jar review so Just Cakes is a local company that was featured on the Food Network here in Canada and we try, we're trying out four of their cakes. So there's Oreo, then we have Reese, so like a peanut butter cup. <laughs> then we have Birthday Cake, which is my fave and Nick's favorite. But Nick's ultimate favorite is a red velvet so I love red velvet and my red velvet is pretty good so we are going to put it to the test to see whose red velvet is better from the red velvet connoisseur himself oh my gosh okay let's dig in which one are we trying first red velvet. oh we're going strong with the red velvet so let's try it first we're gonna try the red velvet toit first Ooh, let me smell it smells like a candle. Oh, it smells very good. So it looks like on the inside. Okay, let's dig in and then we'll show you guys how it is. Oh yeah, I got a good spoonful. Yum! Okay, ready? Who's do you like better? Mine or just cakes? Yours. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It does taste noticeably different compared to mine. What The actual cake is good. Mm -hmm. like it's good. The cake jar is good. This cream cheese is more like, it's more like frosting mm -hmm. cream cheese. It's almost like what's on top of a carrot cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna take another bite, but we have four to go, so. Next up is Oreo. Yum. Ooh. That's what it looks like Oreo bits on top. This one's pretty crummy, so. Pretty good. It tastes like an Oreo. Yeah, that's actually really cool. This one's good. I think they use cream cheese frosting on this as well. Yeah. It's good. Next up is Reese. <laughs> 
Also, we got all of this from a vending machine. They have this cool thing that has like cake jars, but through a vending machine. So good. Ooh, I like how they do details on the top. Oh, this one smells real. Reesey? Reesey. Reesey, me see. Whoa. Dang y'all. This one's good. This one's really good. Mm-hmm. Reese one is so good. It's a chocolate cake, but the peanut butter like buttercream. Super light and fluffy. And it's like mm. not too peanut buttery, but it's like the perfect amount. That one's good. Dang. I think that one's better than the red velvet. I think that one's my favorite so far. Wow, and I never do. Last but not least, birthday cake. Oh my oh. god, love. Looks like a little cupcake on top. Nice and light. Sometimes it's a little too crummy. Oh my gosh. It's super crummy. So it's super crummy. But I do guess the reasoning for it is because cake jars are basically leftover cakes and whatever. Cake crumbs. Cake crumbs just shoved into a jar. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like your classic. Funfetti. Funfetti birthday cake. And the frosting is very classic. Like it almost tastes like it's from a can. Very on brand. I like the Reese one the best. Mm -hmm. Reese one is the best. And my red velvet is still undefeated. So, if you guys have another red velvet recommendation, send them Nick's way. My way. We'll send you our PO address, which is down in the States because that's where we live. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the winner of tonight's battle was the Reese one. That one was really good. We will definitely be eating this later for dessert. For dinner. <laughs> I was gonna say dinner. But anyway, that's probably gonna be it for the video. Mm -hmm. There's not much else that we're gonna do today. It is Sunday night after all. Back to work on Monday. Mm -hmm. We'll have something up for you guys next week. We'll have something sure. good hidden in our next video. If not, it's gonna be its own video. But this week's just gonna be a nice little vlog. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, let us know what you want to see. Mm -hmm. Clearly we've been eating a lot, so yeah. I think you guys see the theme here. Yeah, there's e we eat in every video. <laughs> yeah, and we always buy food, so yeah. we will see you guys eh, soon. Eh, next time, eh, bye. bye.